morning. Welcome to Amanda's Braid and Parade Handmade. Right, I want to hit the ground running today. I'm kind of doing it, but my problem at the moment is I try to get too many jobs done at the same time. So when, as I go around the house to do little jobs, um, I grab a little piece of that. Oh, I'm going to do that job later. I'll grab those pliers and I'll grab that string. I I have a list of jobs to do today and I'm going to do them systematically. So when I'm finished, part of it is the recording of a little bit of piece of video just to keep things moving. It's hard to report them after they've been done. So the energy is gone, if you know what I mean. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is tell you first what I'm going to do kind of thing and then give you a little report later. I'd love to show you some things from Parade Handmade. They're gorgeous. And I mean, this jumper I bought years ago, we don't do jumpers now, but this is one of the jumpers. So we do really, really nice things. I'll show you a little few of those. I want to kind of incorporate that in, but not to smother you with um, product selling or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I have to just a little tiny repair and a pair of earrings. I have the pieces um, together, so that's fine. I have to restring a necklace. I'll negotiate that. It could be wire, it could be string. Um, it could take a little bit longer to do the stringing if it's a string, but we'll see. So I'll gather my brain to do that that's fine I want to top up the blog a little piece because I wanted to do a little piece on the business blog just more often with smaller amounts <clears throat> just to keep the business the Shopify website um, active in a sense of you know more and more content be, um, being added because um, yeah because after a while when the thing is set up and that <clears throat> you still need the movement apart from the sales that you have you need other kind of content creation and movement which I do but you have to just keep tipping away at it so and forget about it so i'll do that a little bit of a blog and i'm going to be snappy about it <laughs> i'm hoping to have all this done by lunchtime so that after lunch <clears throat> i can uh, get into um to continue with the uh, cards and artwork creation and organization my head's getting a bit muddled with that because i firing all false on uh, all cylinders there so <clears throat> a lot of ideas popping in my mind but i can't go that fast so plus tidying the craft room i was into the craft room yesterday for hours and hours and hours and i only came out with some cardboard and paper <clears throat> and a tiny little bag of rubbish rubbish but it's completely freed it up a little bit uh, in one sense so that's helpful i'll just keep chipping away at that i won't be doing a full day's work and then but what it did to me was it really freaked me out because you might find this running around the craft room, doing anything in the craft room to get supplies or to do things, you'll be reminded of all the, the millions of other jobs that you could be doing, that you should be doing, that you wanted to continue to do, and you're never going to be able to get to. So that really, really freaks me out. Anyway, I'll top this later and I hope your morning is going well. So here's the little job I had to do. It was a complete restringing of a little pearl necklace. So I decided to go for silk thread because when you knot the silk thread it um it just helps with the drape it really drapes nicely much better than wire so i got that job done and i'm delighted i'm going to give you a little quick update as to how things are going um uh, this week i um got the blog done it's actually ended up being a little bit longer than i expected so i spent a little bit longer doing that Got the necklace restrung and I did string it on silk and it came out really nicely and delighted. I'll pop a little picture in here You'll, uh, as um, just a little picture of how it looked, you know, during the, the working phase. And uh, so that was a good thing to do because, you know, it was a recap. I haven't done it for a little while. And because uh, restringing pearls doesn't come up very often. They're freshwater pearls, but they're really pretty and they had tiny little holes. And then it was tricky to get the right thread and the right size. Um everything needle and the whole thing to, to make sure that it would go through because it wasn't just pearls it had tiny little titchy little stones with minute little holes in them so i had to make sure that i could um manage that it's a bit of a tricky thing but it was done and i'm delighted to have done that so that's ticked off as well um so i was just up in the craft room there and i was trying to find <clears throat> just a little charm for the the zip remember the zip on the um the paddy stay bag the the felted green bag so what I want to do is, that was interesting, wasn't it? A nice close for you. You know, this bag, 
I want to, I haven't got, I haven't got to do the strap on that. It just turns out to be one strap. So I need to do that today. I think I'm going to do it now, get it out of the way and be able to tick it off. And um, I have that little, a little charm for the zip. I'm going to cut here so that if I make a muck of it, I don't have to keep chopping things up. Good, eh? I'm learning. I'm learning. Right, so I blabbed on too much there and the phone cut out on me. I'll have to fix that. But, okay, getting to the point. I'm going, I've decided not to continue with Printful. Printful is great, um, but all of these extra tangents, you really need to work. You really need to work into them. And I just don't have the manpower or the woman power. I'm just, just me. And, you know, you nearly need a team of people on that to really make it work. So I have them done. They're there. They've been around. But I can't really push them because I don't have the time, as you see, to really focus on things and really, you know, be there, be there constant drip, drip, drip and adding content all the time to be relevant to the audience out there. So um, I might come back to it another time, but because it was always my dream to design and draw and paint. And I had all these paintings and images and ideas and things done, but then I didn't know what to do with them. If I didn't actually sell that piece as a, as a full original piece, then what? And if all this ability to design and draw and colour and enthusiasm and energy, uh, I, had, I couldn't put it anywhere. So I thought, whoa, this is so fantastic. Finally, I can get Printful or a similar app and design products such as computer covers and tote bags and t-shirts and thingies. But you see all of that, it's simple. You know, you upload your product as long as you're kind of a little bit techy and a little bit, you have decent photographs, you can upload your product your imagery and then design these products and then they don't get printed out or sent out or made and some of them are made in Europe and Latvia and different places like that so it's not like coming over from the states or further flung places and it's great but I just haven't the time to really really get into it and also I don't think I have the interest really it's it's um it's more like it feels like admin it doesn't feel like design because I'm not using my hands I've already done the drawing I've already done the design I've already moved that way. It's easy to do, as in if you're into it, it's easy. You put your your imagery up, and then you you um, you know, you have to jiggle it around a bit and make sure it's the right size and consistency and all the rest, and does it suit and da, 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 and put a font on it, a little note on it, whatever you like to say, and then put it up for sale on your site, as long as you have the app on the site. But it's so time consuming and it's just another tangent it's bringing me away from literally what i want to be doing so i'm really trying to focus so i'm going to lighten the ho the the um the site i'm going to stop here for a second i've just had a cup of coffee have you noticed mm -hmm. all right full disclosure here that part where i said i'd blabbed on too long ta 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 uh for some reason for some reason i didn't record it so there is a good bit of blabbing there that you don't have to listen to but I'm just going to join up the pieces anyway and give you the video I think there's enough to go on there and you'll probably be happy not to have to listen to that I don't know what it was about I don't want to make up a new piece now because it's, it's actually given me a pointer and it might help you if you're going to do your YouTube as well I don't like doing out plans but it is so sensible to do that because if I wrote out a little plan just a little plan I could talk about other things but then I could tick off as I'd spoken about each item and then just join them up rather than wondering, what did I talk about in that segment? What did I, what if I say it now and then it's in the middle of this other segment and all the segments on your phone look the same or on your recording device because you're wearing the same clothing and you're at the same angle in the same spot, etc. So it's like you just get into a higgle. And this is what I mean by admin. It's not my strong point. So... <laughs> Um, I really, it's like I'm learning every time, brand new. I mean, it's common sense, it's no plan. You need to do a little plan, even just a little plan. I will, I promise. I'll do a little plan next week and I'll tell you how that goes. I'm sure it's going to make an improvement for me and possibly for you as well. Carry on with what you're doing and go for it. Mm -hmm. So it seems that this week I've got most of it done, but not everything done. And I'm not even... I know that I'm not going to complete everything. So I have done a tiny little short to put out to say that I'm just going to wrap it up um, for this week. But I'll just add that I have 
got my little zip in my little baggie, which I'm really delighted with. I can't, oh, I've decided to get a selfie stick as well, just to get a little bit of distance so that I can actually show you if I'm wearing, if I'm hand holding and I have an item that I want to show you, you know, long wise. This is a bit, you can't really see it, so I have to hold it up like this. But, um, and it's lined and everything, so I'm really thrilled with that. I think, I'm not sure whether I'll do a beaded handle or if I'll do a little bit of embroidery on it, but I will see. And I can't remember actually where I got this pattern. I probably made it up out of my head, which is bold because that main wise, I didn't write it down. So there you go, that's one thing. And I actually finished my twee paddy state bag and I love it. It feels great. Even my husband said it feels great, which I wouldn't have expected. And well, it is one of his jumpers, but it feels so sturdy. I've got these little loops, see, with the uh, thing there. Another little loop on the front and also the metallic one. So you can attach things to it. You know, you could you know, tie a scarf on. I'm thinking of doing a toggle, just something nice, elf extra. You know the way, kind of like a charm, but like a fluffy thing. I don't know. I always kind of add little bits on. <clears throat> I'm probably never finished the project. But anyway, you get it. I'm going to pause here because I'm going to move on to serious things then. Hi, this is the serious section of Amanda's Parade News Bulletin. Uh, no, skip that. I couldn't keep that up for long. Right. Uh, I've decided I'm going to wrap it up now. That's grand. It's not quite at the end of the video, but I'm going to wrap it up now, but then show you work that I'm going to do later on in the day. Like I'm, I'm working on some cards, but they're not ready to go yet. Uh, I'm working on <clears throat> and I need to. I was working on that yesterday, but I couldn't get um prop. You see how it is, is that I want to make paintings and I have the images done in sketch form. Some of the sketches are good enough to work up into a little greeting cards. Just simple grey sketching um tonal just that and they're kind of vintagey looking and they're kind of cute but they some of them are shaded so lightly and maybe just outlined because i had an idea that it would be better for when i'm painting later to just have a i didn't have to work it up so much and it would kind of speed things along as well but now i realize actually if i want to in the prelude to actually doing up the, the larger paintings if i want to use the imagery for greeting cards and such I'm going to have to work them up a little bit more because um, there just isn't the time, you know, to do that whole thing. You get it. So <clears throat> I need to get arty today. So I need to edit this video sooner rather than later, because if I do it the other way around, it won't work out. So what I'm going to do is that um, I need to edit the video. Oh, look, do you hear my head? I just need to get the sketching done. And yeah, no, it's the other way around. If I do if I don't do the videos, oh sugar, if I do the videos first, as in the editing, I won't get into the art later. I need to get into the art really in the quiet and the brightness of the day. So now that's where I'm coming from. And I want to get the video up today because I'm trying to be really consistent. On that note, <clears throat> I've signed up for a YouTube um, live kind of free workshop on um how to you know get your numbers up and how to go about um developing uh, a footfall or subscribership on your channel so uh, with an expert so that's great um i'm going i'll let you know how that goes i'm not entirely sure of permissions that i'm supposed to share that here so i won't say the name or anything and i'll just kind of see how that goes um yeah i think that's kind of there's more or there's always more but i'll just say that's it for the minute i'll show you kind of in a little kind of with a little bit of music maybe later and uh, if i really have to say anything again later i will but if not if i don't get to speak again i just want to say thanks for watching and good luck with your projects and just go for it it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have you don't have to get them finished but just go for it and this time <clears throat> um, I heard a little uh, thing recently. I hear it a lot. It's very, very good. I'm sure we all know it, that the drip, 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 drip effect is, is better than the full on splurge and then you run out of steam. So just keep drip, drip, dripping and it'll be grand. It'll all work out. So good luck with it. And uh, yeah, see you next week. Bye. <laughs>here you go i'm working on my little guy and um he's uh, my little feller he's out for paddy's day 
selling his flags and he's wearing his little badge there and got a bit of shamrock going on here and um yeah he's gonna have a good day i think the plan was to um go up the reek in county mayo that's crow patrick just for the morning and then head off into town and sell a few bits and bobs Um, if you could get in before the parade that would be good but um people like to buy these bits and pieces all day and um yeah then he'd go off and have a little party for himself or go off and find his friends and do a bit of that so i'm just working it up a little bit so that i can move on to the next sketch and get a little bit more done i'll show you that too later i'll show you them when they're finished maybe if it... so now i am gonna have to finish here this always takes longer than i think everything takes longer than i think but um i'm just working up the shadows here it's pretty much done for a card uh, but I just want to soften up the the pencil lines a little bit and uh, bring out the highlights. And then he's kind of done. My little Paddy's Day filler for the cards. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. I don't like to ask too much. I don't think I'll always ask. But um, for the moment, since I'm a bit needy, I have 11 subscribers. Woohoo! But uh, I could do it more. And... Um, Oh, what am I doing? Yes, hand over the thingy. That didn't work really very well, did it? <laughs> so, yeah. So, thanks for watching. And uh, you can see how hectic it is, especially in my life. But um, I think a lot of business owners, small business, creative business owners, find it a little bit um, complex, shall I say? And um, don't be worried about that. It doesn't have to be, you know, like you're working in an office, you're a creative person. You don't work the same way as everybody else. Uh, but you get the you get the stuff done. That's the main thing. You get it done. You get it done as well as you can. You keep improving. So yeah, there you go. So good luck with all your things you're doing this week, and um, keep going with it, little by little, and we'll all get there. Thanks for watching. Bye. So now here he is, on Paddy's Day in Ireland, uh, and you can see that it's in Ireland because of the fiddles of rain, of course, and uh, we have our little mousy in there suggestion of my husband i'm not in a very witty mood and a little birdie i'll work on those uh to be a little bit improved on future cards but anyway for the moment there he is okay over and out mm -hmm.